there's a monolith there, a very unusual structure on this little potato-shaped object that, that goes around Mars once in seven hours. When people find out about that, they're going to say, who put that there? Who put that there? Well, uh, the universe put it there. If you choose, God put it there. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, two of the greatest minds of electrical engineering and wireless communications, Nikola Tesla and Guglielmo Marconi, stumbled upon a perplexing phenomenon. Both pioneers in their fields, they inadvertently became the first unofficial listeners to what would much later be theorized as the Black Knight satellite. Tesla, known for his groundbreaking work in alternating current or AC electricity, was experimenting with wireless transmissions when he reported receiving unusual signals. He described these signals as rhythmic and mathematical, unlike anything occurring naturally or man-made on Earth at that time. Tesla speculated that these signals could be communications from another world, possibly Mars, as he was deeply interested in the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Similarly, Guglielmo Marconi, the Italian inventor known for his development of the radio telegraph system, also encountered peculiar signals during his transatlantic radio experiments. Like Tesla, Marconi couldn't attribute these signals to any known natural or human-made source. These experiences by both Tesla and Marconi marked the early instances of what some believe to be encounters with the Black Knight satellite, a mysterious object orbiting Earth, possibly of extraterrestrial origin. Moving forward into the mid-20th century, the narrative of the Black Knight satellite gained traction through the work of Donald Kehoe. A notable figure in the study of unidentified flying objects or UFOs, Kehoe, a Marine Corps naval aviator turned writer, became a prominent UFO researcher and the director of the National Investigations Committee on Aerial Phenomena, or NICAP. Kehoe was known for his meticulous approach to UFO research, emphasizing the need for serious and scientific investigation. Under his leadership, NICAP delved into various UFO sightings and reports, including those that might link to the Black Knight phenomenon. The organization played a crucial role in advocating for governmental transparency regarding UFOs and possibly related anomalies like the Black Knight satellite. NICAP's work in compiling and analyzing UFO data, including sightings that could not be easily dismissed or explained, added a layer of credibility to the discussions about the Black Knight. The organization's efforts in pushing for official recognition and investigation of these phenomena underscored the growing public interest and concern about what might be lurking in our skies. Another significant contribution to the Black Knight narrative came from Lincoln La Paz, an American astronomer and a professor at the University of New Mexico. La Paz had a profound interest in meteors and was an expert in the field, which led him to work with the U.S. government on projects related to tracking and analyzing unidentified objects in the sky. La Paz's involvement is particularly notable because of his scientific background and his work on classifying and understanding meteors. His expertise brought a scientific perspective to the study of unidentified aerial phenomena. Although not directly linked to the Black Knight satellite, La Paz's work in identifying and categorizing unknown objects in Earth's atmosphere contributed to the broader context in which the Black Knight narrative evolved. His scientific rigor and methodical approach to studying phenomena in the sky played a pivotal role in shaping how researchers and the public perceived and understood mysterious objects orbiting Earth. The involvement of a respected scientist like La Paz lent an air of legitimacy and seriousness to the discussions about the Black Knight and other unexplained aerial phenomena. The early 20th century experiences of Tesla and Marconi with mysterious signals, the advocacy and research of Donald Kehoe and NICAP, and the scientific inquiries of Lincoln La Paz at the University of New Mexico collectively laid the groundwork for the discovery and initial analysis of the Black Knight satellite. These disparate yet interconnected events and efforts contributed to the intriguing and ongoing narrative of this enigmatic object.
the story of the Black Knight satellite took a significant turn when the term unknown orbiting object began to circulate within the space research community and the public. This phrase captured the essence of the mystery surrounding an anomalous object that was detected in orbit around Earth. Unlike anything known or identifiable at the time, this object presented a set of characteristics that defied explanation. One of the most intriguing aspects of this object was its retrograde orbit. In simple terms, a retrograde orbit is one in which an object moves in the opposite direction to Earth's rotation. This was particularly startling because at the time of its initial observation, human technology was not capable of achieving such an orbit. This fact alone fueled speculation about the object's origin, suggesting that it might not be a product of human engineering. The public's awareness of the Black Knight satellite was significantly heightened on February 10, 1960, when John Feeney, a reporter for the New York Times, published an article stating that the U.S. military had detected an unidentified object orbiting the Earth. This report was a watershed moment as it was one of the first instances where the existence of the object was acknowledged by a reputable source in a public forum. Feeney's report brought the Black Knight into the spotlight, transforming it from a topic of niche interest into a subject of widespread curiosity and debate. The military's acknowledgement of the object, even if only to state its inability to identify it, lent an air of credibility to the claims and theories that had been circulating among certain circles. Jacques Vallée, a computer scientist, astronomer, and ufologist, played a pivotal role in the ongoing research into the Black Knight satellite. Vallée, who would later inspire the character of the French scientist in Steven Spielberg's film Close Encounters of the Third Kind, was deeply involved in the study of this mysterious object. Vallée's work included tracking, photographing, and filming the object, particularly noting its polar orbit. A polar orbit, which allows a satellite to pass over virtually every point on Earth, was beyond the capabilities of the era's space technology. Valet's detailed observations and recordings of the Black Knight in such an orbit added a significant piece to the puzzle, suggesting that the object was not only advanced, but also strategically positioned for comprehensive surveillance of the Earth. The size of the Black Knight satellite was another aspect that baffled observers. Reports suggested that it was too large to have been launched by any rocket technology available at that time. This discrepancy raised questions about the object's origin and purpose. If it was not launched by humans, who or what placed it in orbit, and for what purpose? The technological implications of the Black Knight were profound. It seemed to possess capabilities that were not just advanced for the era, but perhaps even beyond contemporary human technology. This realization led to myriad theories, ranging from secret military projects to extraterrestrial artifacts. Adding to the mystique of the Black Knight was the reported encounter by astronaut Gordon Cooper. Cooper, a well-respected astronaut and one of the original seven astronauts in Project Mercury, the first manned space program of the United States, reportedly saw a strange craft while in space. His sighting was particularly compelling given his experience and credibility as an astronaut. Cooper's account of seeing an unidentified craft orbiting alongside him added a personal, human dimension to the Black Knight narrative. It suggested that the object was not just a distant, unattainable phenomenon, but something that had directly interacted with human space explorers. As the research and public disclosure regarding the Black Knight satellite unfolded, it became increasingly clear that this was not just another space object. The combination of its unusual orbit, the technological implications of its size and capabilities, and the credible observations and encounters by respected figures in the scientific and astronautical communities pointed to something extraordinary. The culmination of these investigations and observations led to an even more startling revelation, the decoding of a message from the Black Knight satellite. 
The Breakthrough by Duncan Lunnan in 1973. The enigma of the Black Knight satellite took a dramatic turn in 1973 when Duncan Lunnan, a Scottish author and astronomer, made a groundbreaking discovery. Lunnan, deeply intrigued by the mystery surrounding the Black Knight, embarked on an ambitious project to analyze the data associated with the satellite. His efforts culminated in the decoding of a message that had been supposedly transmitted by the Black Knight satellite. Lunnan's analysis involved a complex interpretation of the signal patterns that were being emitted by the object. Through meticulous work, he claimed to have deciphered a message hidden within these signals. This was not just any message, it was a detailed map and communication, the likes of which had never been seen before in the context of space research or extraterrestrial communication. The decoded message, according to Lunen, originated from the star system Epsilon Bodis. This was a startling revelation, as it implied an extraterrestrial origin for the Black Knight satellite. The Epsilon Bodis system, located in the constellation of Bodis, is approximately 203 light years away from Earth. The notion that an advanced civilization from such a distant star system could have sent an artificial satellite to Earth was revolutionary and fueled widespread speculation and debate. Lunnan interpreted the message as a star map, a sort of cosmic guide, which he believed detailed the Epsilon Bodis system as well as the intended trajectory and origin of the Black Knight satellite. The implications of such a message were profound, suggesting a connection between Earth and an advanced extraterrestrial civilization that had existed for thousands of years. One of the most astonishing aspects of Lunnan's interpretation of the Black Knight satellite's message was its reference to an arrival date around 11,000 BC. This date placed the arrival of the Black Knight at a time in Earth's history that coincided with the end of the last Ice Age and the dawn of significant human cultural and technological development. The possibility that the Black Knight satellite had been orbiting Earth since ancient times opened up a plethora of questions about its purpose and influence. Could it have been observing human civilization? Was it a silent witness to the rise and fall of great ancient cultures? Or perhaps it played a more active role in shaping the course of human history? Adding to the intrigue surrounding the Black Knight satellite was an incident involving the Space Shuttle Endeavor on its STS-88 mission, launched on December 4, 1998. During this mission, astronauts aboard the Endeavour captured a series of photographs that appeared to show an unidentified object in orbit around Earth. These photographs, taken on December 11, 1998, showed a black, amorphous shape that some believe to be the Black Knight satellite. The images, once made public, reignited interest in the Black Knight narrative and provided visual evidence that something unexplained was indeed orbiting Earth. The photographs from the Endeavour mission were analyzed and debated by both the scientific community and the public. Skeptics argued that the images could be of a thermal blanket or some other mundane piece of space debris. However, proponents of the Black Knight theory saw these images as concrete evidence of the satellite's existence, bolstering the claims made by Lennon and others. The decoded message from the Black Knight satellite, as interpreted by Duncan Lunnan, represented a paradigm shift in our understanding of the universe and our place within it. If the message's authenticity and interpretation were accurate, it meant that Earth had been under the watchful eye of an advanced extraterrestrial civilization for thousands of years. The implications of such a revelation were vast. It challenged our understanding of human history, our technological advancements, and even our beliefs about life beyond Earth. The message also raised questions about the intent of the civilization that sent the Black Knight. Was it a mere observer? Or did it have a more active role or message for humanity? The possibility that we were not alone in the universe and that our planet had been part of a cosmic conversation for millennia was both thrilling and daunting. 
It presented a new frontier in human understanding, one that bridged the gap between science and the profound mysteries of our existence. The decoding of the message from the Black Knight satellite by Duncan Lunnan in 1973 marked a significant chapter in the saga of this mysterious object. The interpretation of the message as a map from Epsilon Votus, its reference to an ancient arrival date, and the visual evidence provided by the Space Shuttle Endeavour's photographs in 1998 all contributed to the growing legend of the Black Knight. One intriguing theory about the Black Knight satellite is that it could be an artifact left by our ancient ancestors, perhaps a remnant of a long-lost advanced civilization on Earth. This idea stems from the various myths and legends found in different cultures around the world which speak of ancient gods or beings with advanced knowledge and technology. The theory posits that these gods were actually human ancestors who had achieved a level of technological advancement far beyond what we have understood about our history. Supporters of this theory argue that the Black Knight could be a piece of technology that was launched into space by this ancient civilization, possibly for reasons such as monitoring Earth or as a beacon for navigating space. This artifact, having survived thousands of years, could have been misinterpreted by modern observers as an alien satellite. The idea is bolstered by the references to celestial objects and astronomical knowledge in ancient texts and structures, suggesting a more sophisticated understanding of the cosmos than previously believed. NASA, on the other hand, has offered a more mundane explanation for the Black Knight phenomenon. According to the space agency, the object in question is likely a piece of space debris, specifically a thermal blanket that was lost during a space shuttle mission. This explanation is based on photographic evidence from various shuttle missions where similar looking objects have been identified as parts of spacecraft or insulation material that came loose. NASA's stance is that while unidentifiable objects are occasionally observed in space, there is a rational explanation for most of these sightings. In the case of the Black Knight, their analysis suggests that it is not an extraterrestrial satellite, but rather a human-made object that has been misidentified. Beyond the ancestral artifact theory and NASA's explanation, there are other speculations and theories regarding the Black Knight satellite. Some of these include a monitoring device from extraterrestrials. Another popular theory is that the Black Knight is a device placed in Earth's orbit by extraterrestrial beings. This device could be used for monitoring human civilization, studying Earth's environment, or even acting as a communication relay. The precise purpose remains a subject of speculation, but proponents of this theory often cite the advanced orbit and the longevity of the object as evidence of its extraterrestrial origin. A Top Secret Military Satellite Some speculate that the Black Knight might be a top secret military satellite from either the United States or another nation. This theory suggests that the satellite could be used for surveillance, signal intelligence, or other covert operations. The secrecy surrounding such a project could explain the lack of official information and the subsequent growth of conspiracy theories. A Natural Celestial Object Another less discussed possibility is that the Black Knight might be a natural celestial object that was captured by Earth's gravity. This could be a small asteroid or a fragment of a comet that has settled into a stable orbit around the planet. While this theory doesn't explain the reported signals or the supposed observations of a structured object, it remains a potential explanation for some of the sightings. A hoax or misinterpretation Finally, there is the possibility that the entire Black Knight phenomenon is a result of a hoax, misinterpretation, or a series of unrelated events that have been erroneously linked together. This perspective argues that the sightings, photographs, and reports could be either intentional fabrications or misidentifications of mundane objects or phenomena. The Black Knight satellite remains one of the most intriguing and debated mysteries in the realm of space observation and UFO research. 
The various theories about its origin and purpose range from the scientifically plausible to the realm of science fiction. Whether it is an ancient artifact, a piece of space debris, an extraterrestrial monitoring device, a secret military satellite, a natural celestial object, or simply a misunderstanding, the Black Knight continues to captivate the imagination and curiosity of people around the world. The lack of conclusive evidence leaves the door open for speculation and further investigation. As our technology and understanding of space advance, we may one day uncover the truth behind this enigmatic object, revealing whether it is a mere footnote in the history of space exploration or a key to understanding a greater cosmic puzzle. The mystery of the Black Knight satellite leaves us at a crossroads of curiosity, skepticism, and the unquenchable human desire for understanding the unknown. This enigmatic object, purportedly orbiting our planet, has become a symbol of the vast and unexplored mysteries that lie beyond our earthly confines. It challenges our perceptions of technology, history, and possibly our understanding of extraterrestrial life. In the quest to unravel the mystery of the Black Knight, credible sources and researchers from all around the world have proposed various studies and analyses. These efforts range from radio signal analysis to orbital tracking and from historical documentation review to advanced astronomical observations. Scientists and astronomers have used radio telescopes to attempt to intercept and decode any signals that may originate from the object, hoping to find a clue about its purpose or origin. Space agencies and independent organizations have tracked the object's orbit, trying to determine if its movements reveal anything about its functionality or intent. Historians and archaeologists have revisited ancient texts and artifacts to see if there might be any link to the Black Knight's supposed ancient origins. These studies, while often yielding more questions than answers, are crucial in keeping the scientific inquiry alive and in ensuring that any claims or theories are grounded in verifiable research and empirical evidence. The stances of global governments on the Black Knight satellite vary, ranging from outright dismissal to cautious acknowledgement of the unknown. Most official agencies, like NASA, attribute sightings of the Black Knight to space debris or misidentified natural celestial phenomena. However, the continued interest and speculation surrounding the satellite have led to some governments being more open to investigating such unexplained objects. Disclosures and declassified documents from various countries' space and defense agencies have provided some insights, but they often lead to more speculation. The lack of concrete evidence or official acknowledgement has fueled theories about cover-ups and secret space programs. The secrecy and ambiguity play into the narrative of the Black Knight being more than just a piece of space debris, keeping the intrigue and mystery alive. The Black Knight satellite opens up a plethora of theoretical implications and speculations. If it were proven to be an extraterrestrial object, it would not only confirm the existence of intelligent life beyond Earth, but also suggest that such life forms have an interest in our planet. This could fundamentally change our understanding of our place in the universe and our approach to space exploration and diplomacy. Alternatively, if the Black Knight were an ancient human artifact, it would rewrite our understanding of the history and capabilities of early civilizations. It could suggest that our ancestors were far more advanced than previously thought, potentially possessing knowledge or technology that was lost through the ages. The possibility that the Black Knight is a piece of space debris or a misidentified natural object also has its implications. It highlights the challenges and limitations of space observation and the interpretation of data. It serves as a reminder of the vast amount of unknowns that still exist in space exploration and the importance of continued scientific inquiry. The Black Knight satellite has also played a significant role in media and popular culture, appearing in books, movies, and television shows. This portrayal has both fueled the public's interest and shaped the perception of the object. The line between science and fiction often blurs in these representations, influencing how the general public understands and engages with the mystery of the Black Knight. 
Looking forward, the mystery of the Black Knight satellite remains an open invitation for future research and exploration. Advances in space technology such as more powerful telescopes, improved satellite tracking, and deep space probes may eventually provide more concrete answers about this object. Moreover, as interest in space exploration grows and new players, including private space companies, enter the arena, the chances of unraveling the Black Knight's secrets increase. These future missions and studies may finally shed light on whether the Black Knight is a remnant of an ancient past, a harbinger of extraterrestrial contact, or simply a misunderstood fragment of our modern space endeavors. The Black Knight satellite remains one of the most captivating and enduring mysteries of space exploration. It embodies the human spirit of inquiry and the relentless pursuit of knowledge in the face of the unknown. Whether it will be revealed as an alien artifact, a relic of a lost civilization, a piece of space debris, or something entirely unexpected, the journey to uncover its secrets continues to inspire and challenge us. In this quest, we're reminded of the vastness of the universe and the limitless potential for discovery. The Black Knight satellite, in all its mystery and intrigue, represents a beacon in our collective journey to understand the cosmos and our place within it.